What's up guys, welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be cleaning the outdoor pond. I'm not quite sure what the audio is going to be like because it is a bit windy. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, the pond's really dirty now and the water is really green in there from being over winter. Um, we've also got to clean all the covers off um, and just give it a quick once over. And then we're going to paint it, um, get it all freshened up on the inside and outside. And then in the next video, you and then in the next video, you'll see us fill it up and start getting it ready for the fish. So the first job, we've got to get rid of all the plants and all the leaves and the weeds, get them all out of the way. Then we're going to scrub it all down um, and get it ready for the first coat of paint. Here's the water change barrel. So as you can see, we've also got these really dirty polycarbonate lids that need to be cleaned off, ready for the, ready for the fish, because these are quite good at keeping the heat in the pond. Although, as I've previously shown, there's lots of polystyrene within the pond uh, to help keep the heat in. These just help quite a bit. Um, and also, if there's any sun on it, it helps really lock in that, that warm temperature. So a few bits of kit we need. One brush, dustpan, we also need a few little hand tools for the weeds and then just a simple lovely salted caramel ice cream which is unfortunately gone and a nice little sponge. So we're nearly there now, um, just got to drain the water out and then we'll let it all dry out in the sun. You may have noticed the slight change of clothes in today's video. The merch is actually finally getting somewhere and we're nearly ready to start making the t-shirt. So you might see that coming up in the next month or two, uh, which is really exciting. Um, we're going to have a, hopefully a few different, different combinations, but we'll, we'll see about that one in the future. If you want to see how I built this pond, then at the end of the video there should be a little link there. If you click on that, you can see how I made this pond. Um, I did a little DIY tutorial on it. So the pond's all nice and clean now. We just need to let it dry out. Um, and then we're just going to drain out the inside and then it'll be ready for us to paint it. So the pond's finally draining, we're going to get that all drained out and then we'll see you in a bit once it's ready for the first coat of paint. So the tank's nearly dry now, the lovely British weather, beautiful, is <laughs> starting to warm up now. The tank is nearly dry, so we're going to let it dry out, we're going to use a few bits of kitchen roll just to dry it out. And then we're gonna start the first coat of, pa coat of paint, sorry. So here we go. So we're gonna do a another ivory white coat on the outside. And then we're also gonna do another coat of G4 on the inside. I just use the G4 to seal the pond paint. Uh, gives it a nice sort of plasticky texture. 
and then as you can see the filters here so we've got to fill that up with all the media that we've got currently in the indoor tank and you can just see the little temperature probe and then there's the titanium heater in there and then as you can see here this is the, actually the bubble wall that runs all the way along the bottom so if I bring you around the side you can see we've got the thermostat on here so we've got the pump the thermostat the air pump and then finally we've got the light that's on the top and then we've just got a few little nets on the holder here and then you can see the little air pump down there so without further ado I'm gonna lay a few plastic sheets just down on the floor and then once it's finally dry then we get the coats on then once it's nice and dry then we can fill it up with water next weekend so that should be next the next video or possibly the video after that we're gonna let it cycle for a few weeks just to for the water to settle down and then obviously the weather will be a little bit warmer by then as well we're gonna get the media from the indoor tank here and then we're gonna move all the new fish outside and then hopefully we'll have some fry fingers crossed and then I'll keep you all documented on that one so let's get to it let's get the tank painted what's up guys welcome back so we're gonna get the first coat of paint on as you may have noticed I've put on some old dirty clothes I'm not sponsored by Superdry but if you're watching feel free to sponsor me <laughs> um, also you may have noticed a um, haircut in the intermission so yeah I've got a haircut as well and also got my lovely trusted Crocs on so now we're gonna get the first coat of paint on the outside so it's nice and dry nice and clean now uh, we'll get the first coat on here and then we're going to put the G4 on the inside afterwards. So I put a few plastic sheets down to protect the patio and let's get to it. Just to mention I'm using this Sandtex paint which has got like a sandy masonry paint, sandy texture to it uh, which you can see on the outside of the tank here so let's get paint. So the first side's done now. I think this is only going to need one coat of paint, luckily. So we're going to get onto the other sides now. So the front's all finished now, so let's get onto the last side and get that all done. So this side's going to be a bit of a tricky one. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of electricals and bits and pieces on there. Right, I think that will do for that side. It was only a quick little coat, so I'll give you a little shot around the whole tank now.
that's all done for the outside. I'm going to get the interior done. There's not too much to see on there, but I will give you a little shot of the tank once it's all finished. And then next week we're going to be filling it up and then I'm going to be doing a video on how to cycle your new tank and a little, little tips and tricks basically. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll see the full thing in three, two, one.